What were you measuring? Pete Hoskins at Westborough High School in West Yorkshire is working with his Year 7s to create visual comic strip presentations that describe the experiments they've done. It's part of a, a series of lessons that they've done on particles. And within that, we've been looking particularly at modelling and trying to get across the idea that particles behave differently in solids, liquids and gases. Can you make sure, please, that you've got your goggles on? Their practical investigation into the particle model involves looking at the viscosity of oil. So the pupils simply had two temperatures of oil and then had to pour that through a funnel and then time how quickly okay. each oil came through the funnel to actually see if the temperature affected the time. So was it 4.90? Yeah, it's 4.90. Right we can talk about a whole range of things, such as uh, which variables we're changing, what are we measuring, what do we need to actually keep the same in terms of control variables. Uh, we can start to look at the quality of the data they collect and how they might interpret it. So you've took one, so shall we not take another one? How many did I say you need? Five. OK, including one of that. So if you've got one, how many more have you got to do? At least another? Three. Three. Which of the two oils comes through the fastest? Hot or cold? Hot. Hot. So if that's the case, if you would just describe the, the oil as runny or less runny, which one would be the, would be the runniest? Hot. hot. The hot. The class itself is uh, our lower set class and you've got pupils in there who would be level two, level three in terms of national curriculum and reading ages which might be anything from seven years old. Remember you've got to take your photographs. And, and then of course we asked them to take a number of pictures. Um, the focus of that, we, what we wanted, was for them to familiarise themselves with the, the apparatus first and foremost to then start thinking about what it was they were changing and what they were measuring, to start thinking about the, the actual procedure itself. The laptops are then set up so the class can start using the comic strip software. Yeah. Well, that should recognise it now, that's fine. The comic strip programme, it's really just a tool to produce um, comic strips and... As such, it's just uh, a series of templates that you can actually use. As long as you've got some digital photographs there, you can drag them into the template and then add a whole range of speech bubbles and various effects as well. So, which of your pictures comes first? Can you click and drag? OK. And can you explain what you were doing there? The cold oil. Did you do the cold oil first? So get a speech bubble, put it in, drag it up. Try this. Okay. If you want to make the bubble bigger, then you can double click on the bubble and then just make it bigger. But try and just explain now what you were doing. So what did you say you were doing? So you, so you would put the cold oil in, what were you measuring? How fast the... Okay, so that in, okay? I've written, we wrote our, like, second, how much second did it, like, the hot or cold, how long did it take to, like, go down, and I've, I'm writing it, this is the hot and that's the cold water, and which one went faster and stuff. I need to do a little picture with me, because that's a picture with me, but it's upside down. Right, you, you can put it in here and you can spin it round. Put it in that one. We sat down and we thought about how we can actually go about trying to produce, in particular, assessments which would allow the pupils to put forward their understanding and to express their understanding, other than something that was obviously just going to be paper-based because of the literacy levels. And they really enjoyed actually putting those strips together and actually looking at their own photographs. But it was the discussions, I think, that took place around that production of the comic strip, which was particularly strong. We're changing the... You had two different types of oil, didn't you? Oh, what was the difference? Hot and cold. But hot and cold. Hot. And what were you then measuring? Uh, the... Uh, 
joke? No. What, what, what the piece oil. of equipment were you measuring? What, were you, what piece of equipment were you using to measure? As you poured the oil through, what do you start and stop? Uh, stopwatch. OK, so stopwatch. you're measuring what? The stopwatch. Well, stopwatch helps us to measure what? The time at the oil you drip down. Great, the time. So, what do you find out from your experiment? Which of the two, the hot or the cold, seem to go through the quickest? The hot. The hot. By three point something seconds. I think that the majority of them did get it. I mean, they, they still need a little bit of coaxing. There are one or two pupils who I can see their, their understanding is still, um, you know, not assured. There's, there's still doubt in their mind. And so as a classroom teacher now, I, I can see who in the class actually has got a strong knowledge of, of particles and, and who is still unsure about it. So obviously that can now be addressed in future lessons.